Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video with the recent release of Artro's update. Not only did we get 100 free gems, thank you Habby, I'm going to use it right here on what else is new is the Lucky Spin. Now you can see we will get a free entry right away. We can get more entries by consuming energy or by spending 50 gems, which you'll see me do here in a second, in order to get the Super Spin. Now this is kind of a nice little feature to have added to it, but let's talk about this Super Spin once you see it. Now, first things first, spending 50 gems doesn't seem like much, but what we have to remember on this is think of every single gem as one penny. So we're using 50 cents every time, and this can add up pretty quickly, especially once we get into the super spin here. So once we get in the super spin, it will give us that free try because we've already technically spent the 50 gems on it. But number one, we do have a lot of cool stuff we can get from this here. It will suck though if you do get those sapphires or even the chips really. The gold coins really aren't that bad if you get them on the first spin or even the second if you spend 200 gems because if we went over the store, the 72 hour reward is something like 116,000 for me at least. So I wouldn't complain too much if you got on that. But you can see here, the second one's costing us 200. Luckily for me, I'm getting pretty good draws on this. So I'm very fortunate. But you see, once we spend the 200, well, now we're up to 300 to try it again. And this is where it can get a little dicey because 200, 300, you see the next one there is 400. I just got the sapphires, that sucks. But overall, 200, 300, 400, that's 900 plus the 50 we just put in there. That's almost $10 to spend once you get in this. And this is where they can kind of trick you. The first thing about microtransactions, which if you see for a dollar, you get 80 gems. And it's one of those things where they want to try to get you fooled on knowing what is 80 gems actually worth. That's why I go and I say for the $5 one or $4.99, we get 500. So it's a little bit better to gauge one cent per each one. Now where this gets very dangerous is if you already had that super spin, you use all the gems and you happen to go in and land on that super spin again, well check this out right here. You're gonna see we then can go and purchase those all again. So we get our free spin, but we still have the attempts to do the remaining of spending another 900 gems. And this is where you guys gotta be very careful because this is something flashy. We're getting good rewards for it, but it's gonna cost us a good amount. Honestly, what I would say, if you're thinking about spending the gems on this or using real cash, I would spend your money over at the Battle Pass. I think you're going to get a much better reward and the fact that you don't have the chance of landing on those chips or the sapphires. The other thing I tried to do too was I did try to re-roll this. It didn't seem possible at all. It didn't work and I think I actually lost my five hero shards that I landed on. So I personally think the best way to spend your gems in this lucky spin is if you don't go and claim all your chances of getting the original spin, spend your 50 gems then. At least then, that doesn't keep on rising up on you quite like the R1 does of 200, 300, 400. It could really be something and this could be dangerous for you. But overall, I am kind of a fan of this, but I don't like the amount of gems that it's actually costing. So let me know what you guys think of the Lucky Spin. Are you a fan of it? Are you spending the extra gems? What do you think is a good solution or a safe way to go at it? But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because we'll be bringing a ton more. Like, subscribe, and remember, I picked my butt.